Okay, we're in uh, Huntsville, Alabama with Matt Gamel, a uh, third base prospect for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Matt, uh, tell us a little bit of, about your experience in professional baseball. First of all, you uh, went to junior college in Florida, and mm -hmm. you, were, you were drafted by the Brewers. Um, when, you, when, you, when you attended junior college, did you have any idea or any uh, idea that you would eventually be a professional baseball player? Not really, no. You know, I never really crossed my mind. I never, you know, I was always been under the radar kind of player. No one really knew about me. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of playing because I enjoyed playing, kind of get school paid for. Yeah. So you were fortunate enough that uh, the Brewers were actually scouting Darren Ford, a prospect they drafted in the 18th round, and, and they discovered you. And uh, basically, uh, the scout there at the time, uh, tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. Did, did, you, did he really clue you in on the fact that, that you may be drafted someday by the Milwaukee Brewers? Yeah, you know, Doug's a great guy. I've uh, formed a good relationship with Doug from the draft and just over the years. And, uh, you know, they show the most interest out of all the teams. So I kind of kind of figured I'd probably be a brewer. So, you know, I was good. And, you know, Doug's, just, Doug's a great guy. Never really, never lied to me. Just always kept it straight. Cool, very, very cool to hear. Now, uh, when you got drafted, tell us, was that really exciting to you? Was it after you found out about it? Uh, who was the first person you contacted? <laughs> uh, well, we were all, you know, all my friends were over there the day of the draft and stuff. We were just kind of listening. And, uh, I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really know how to approach it because I've never been through it before. I went surfing that morning and <laughs> went fish, fishing that evening, so I kind of heard it on my dad's satellite radio in his truck, and then uh, they all came outside and whatever. So it was, it was a good day. It was a fun day. <laughs> cool. And then uh, as far as. Uh, after signing with the Brewers, uh, you've obviously done really well here in the minor leagues, uh, moving up each level. And I, and I know uh, they've been moving you pretty aggressively. And, and uh, this offseason, you actually uh, challenged for the Triple Crown in the Hawaiian uh, winter, winter League. Tell us a little bit about your experience over there. And uh, maybe you got some surfing in over there, too. I uh, probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> but uh, it was a neat experience just to be over there, you know, learn a lot of Japanese players over there, kind of learn their philosophies on the game, and a lot different than ours. And uh, just to be over there with a lot of a lot of good players and a lot of good pitching, it's, it's a good experience. Okay. And then as far as growing up, um, what, 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 uh, when did you first start playing baseball? And and were you was it something that you always loved, or were you encouraged by either a family member or a sibling or something like that? Or, or what, what really made you want to uh, play baseball? Uh, I started playing when I was five. I've been playing for a while. Uh, just I wouldn't really say that my family influenced me to play or encourage you know they encouraged me to do whatever you know do what I wanted and uh my grandpa would always pitch to me in his backyard and stuff and always hit wiffle balls so it kind of just went from there so you know my parents have always just supported me and kind of any decision I made never forced me to really play sports or anything like that so that helped a lot too that I didn't you know I did it because I wanted to not because I was forced to do something and then uh, uh, here up in the minor leagues, obviously you're you're playing at third base, and uh, uh, obviously you're, you've been hitting great, and uh, you're, it's it's forcing you to move along pretty quickly. And and the brewer and the Brewers and Brewer fans up there are really excited about uh, seeing you one day. Uh, obviously, with uh, Ryan Braun's move to the outfield this year, it opens up a spot in the, possibly in the future at third base for yourself. Uh, just like Braun, you've had a little bit of struggles defensively. Uh, tell us exactly, uh, you know, who's help who's been helping you the most working on on this, and and do you think that it, uh, for sure that you foresee yourself as a future third baseman in the, in the major leagues. Yeah, you know, I mean, them moving Bronny to left field, you know, they got Billy there now. That that helps me out with Bronny moving. You know, I've I got to come out and do my day-to-day -day work and keep getting better. I've improved tenfold since last year at third already. You know, it's from just working hard in the off season and working with Don Money and Garth Orge and, you know, just coming out day after day and just working on my footwork and just, getting that concrete instead of to where in the past it's just kind of it's come and gone so now I'm just really working to to repeat it and keep repeating it day after day all right well we wish you the best of luck down here in the minor leagues Matt and uh, we hope to see you up uh, hitting in the middle lineup at Miller Park someday so uh, good, good, good luck with your work down here it was very nice meeting you and thanks for the interview you too. thanks a lot it.